I've been writing about wine since uh, 75, can you believe it? And um, probably made more of my reputation at the beginning, writing books. Um, a lot of you here will think that books are dead. I'm not sure they're dead. Uh, in fact, I'm certain they're not dead, but I think that the means by which they get to their readers um, obviously is in full flux. Uh, I heard a story this morning from somebody writing a book about Virginia wine, which sent a chill down my spine about what publishers expect. Mm. I remember very, very early on, there was a grand dame of English wine writing called um, pa Pamela Van Dyke Price. She was very frightening. And she once summons me to her flat in London. You had to sort of walk through a thicket of, of sample bottles, which I suppose people <laughs> think that that's what my place is like now. And um, she sat me down with a glass of wine and nodded at the book she was working on. She said, you will learn, my dear, that there is a special hole in hell for publishers. <laughs> and it's certainly true that the relationship between authors and publishers is, is not, the, not naturally um, friendly. Um, I personally think that, that there, there will continue to be an appetite for book-like things about wine because there is just so much information. Um, but obviously the, the future surely is self-publishing and uh, presumably you too have read about what J.K. Rowling of Harry Potter fame is now doing. She's not even selling her books through Amazon, she's selling them all through her own website. Wouldn't it be nice to get into that position? Um, and I, I don't see why we can't um, move towards that. Uh, all I'd say is that, that I think some of the self-published books that I've seen so far don't share quite as high production values as my idea of the perfect wine book. But I'm sure that will come, and perhaps if we take more control, uh, that will become very, very easy.